Imagine a device so small you could hold it in your hand yet so powerful it can fold magnetic fields like cloth and twist the fabric of energy itself. For decades scientists have imagined breakthroughs like this as science fiction while engineers insisted the equations would never allow such a thing to exist. But today we are stepping into a world where an invention called the quantum coil claims to do exactly that. A device proposed by Maxwell Chikambutso that behaves like a living organism harvesting energy from the vacuum of space with no burn rate and no fuel source. A device now rumored to be an advanced evolution of the well-known MSED but operating on principles far beyond conventional electromagnetism. In this scientific visual simulation we are not saying it is real, nor are we confirming its existence. We are asking a question that both inspires and terrifies modern physics. What if this is real? What if a quantum coil can bend magnetic fields the same way fingers bend fabric? What if vacuum energy can be extracted, shaped, looped, and stabilized into an infinite power cycle? What would it look like, what laws would it violate, what predictions would it break, and what new ones would it create? Imagine a laboratory dimly lit with the quiet blue shimmer of charged plasma swirling around a compact cylindrical module. The module is wrapped with a series of helical rings that pulse with microsecond timing almost like a heartbeat. Every pulse is a ripple in magnetic space forming loops that twist and fold back into themselves as if obeying choreography instead of equations. Each ripple collapses into a stable torus that floats for a fraction of a second before rejoining the coil and amplifying the next pulse. This is the simulated behavior of what Maxwell calls a stable energy loop. A phenomenon where magnetic fields are not just shaped but woven into a self-sustaining pattern that feeds energy back into the system. From a physics perspective this is impossible because magnetic fields naturally disperse and lose coherence. Yet in this hypothetical world the quantum coil uses vacuum fluctuations as the stitching material that holds each loop together. In other words the device pulls virtual particles from the vacuum, arranges them into a coherent lattice, and uses them to reinforce its magnetic geometry. This means every time the coil pulses it gains more stability instead of losing it. If such a device existed it would be the first man-made object to interface directly with quantum vacuum energy at macroscopic scale. In our simulation the coil begins to glow as the internal structure reaches equilibrium and the stable energy loops synchronize with the quantum fluctuations around them. The magnetic field then folds in on itself like a soft fabric being gently twisted by invisible hands. The result is a pinch effect that does not rely on gravity or inertia but on vacuum coherence. What you would see is not light but distortion, like bending the air around a flame except the flame is a magnetic vortex. This vortex grows in intensity until it reaches a threshold where energy begins to circulate without external input. Here the system enters what Maxwell calls the zero exchange state. A condition where the coil harvests enough vacuum energy per oscillation to maintain its field structure indefinitely. This is where the impossible happens. Energy stops flowing from a source to a load and instead loops infinitely in a stable pattern that can be tapped without collapsing the system. Our simulation shows this as a glowing halo around the coil while the device temperature remains perfectly flat. This is the hallmark of a perfect energy loop, constant output with no heat loss. In real science this would violate the second law of thermodynamics which states that no system can be perfectly efficient or free of entropy. But the quantum coil circumvents this by treating the vacuum as an infinite reservoir rather than a closed system. To visualize this imagine the coil creating tiny distortions that momentarily open tunnels into the quantum foam. Each tunnel is microscopic but together they form a network of vacuum channels feeding the device with continuous fluctuations. These fluctuations are converted into coherent energy through the interaction of spinning magnetic toroids. It is the magnetic geometry that gives the coil its supernatural properties. The geometry acts as a translator converting random vacuum noise into structured energy fields. In doing so it functions like a bridge between classical electromagnetism and quantum field dynamics. This is where the idea becomes revolutionary. If the coil can translate vacuum energy into usable electromagnetic power it means every point in space becomes an energy source. A car equipped with a quantum coil would never need charging because the vacuum becomes its fuel tank. 
An aircraft using this system gains lift by using magnetic buoyancy rather than burning fuel. A home powered by such a device would draw energy from thin air with no utility lines and no environmental cost. But the simulation goes further by exploring how bending magnetic fields like fabric affects matter around the device. When the coil generates high coherence magnetic folds the local environment experiences a pseudo-gravitational effect. Not gravity in the traditional sense but magnetic curvature that influences the motion of charged particles. If scaled up this effect could theoretically reduce the apparent mass of nearby objects. This would revolutionize transportation, aerospace engineering, and energy distribution. In our simulation when the coil reaches full harmony the magnetic folds become so tightly woven that matter inside the field behaves differently. Electrons move with less resistance as if the coil temporarily reduces their interaction with the surrounding vacuum. This is simulated as a slight luminescent haze around the device similar to Cherenkov radiation but with a softer glow. The surrounding air shifts subtly like heat waves rising from desert sand. Inside this zone the coil achieves magnetic superposition where its field behaves like a liquid instead of a solid pattern. A liquid magnetic field is something never achieved in real laboratories. It means the field can flow, bend, and curl around objects without collapsing. This fluid-like behavior is what allows the quantum coil to bend magnetic fields like fabric. The fabric analogy becomes clear when viewing the simulation in slow motion. The field lines stretch and fold in layers creating patterns that resemble woven cloth rippling in the wind. Each ripple stores kinetic and thermal energy which the coil reabsorbs into the next cycle. This energy recycling is the foundation of the stable energy loop. In a real-world application the loop would provide limitless clean power without degradation. But the simulation also explores potential instability scenarios. If the vacuum channels become misaligned the coil may experience runaway coherence. Runaway coherence could cause the magnetic folds to tighten until they collapse inward. This collapse releases a burst of energy comparable to a concentrated lightning strike. However the advanced quantum coil includes a self-correcting algorithm that recalibrates the magnetic geometry several thousand times per second. This ensures the system avoids collapse and maintains stability even under heavy load. But what happens when the coil powers large equipment in our simulated scenario? When connected to a load the stable energy loop simply expands its magnetic pattern to accommodate the extra demand. This expansion resembles a balloon inflating with each pulse causing the halo to grow larger. The vacuum channels widen which increases the energy intake from quantum fluctuations. The coil responds automatically making it self-scaling. The more energy you draw from it the more energy it pulls from the vacuum. This characteristic is unprecedented in physics. Traditional power sources weaken when you draw more energy. The quantum coil strengthens. This is why simulations predict that a power plant-sized coil could theoretically output gigawatts without strain. In the visualization the coil remains cool while its magnetic halo expands into a stable sphere. The sphere becomes semi-transparent and begins to twist like a slow-moving vortex. This vortex locks into a symmetrical rotation forming an energy shell that appears almost alive. Inside the shell energy moves in closed loops continuously feeding back into the coil. The simulation shows this as luminous ribbons weaving through each other without touching. This interwoven structure is the essence of the stable energy loop theory. If humanity ever built such a coil it would redefine technology in every known sector. But could it actually be built? Our simulation explores this as well by imagining what materials could support such extreme magnetic dynamics. The coil must be made from superconductors that operate at room temperature using exotic composites that do not yet exist. The internal architecture must include nanoscale latticework capable of channeling vacuum energy without collapsing. To maintain coherence the coil may need embedded quantum processors that regulate field geometry with femtosecond precision. This processor acts like a conductor leading an orchestra of magnetic waves. The simulation shows a neural-like mesh firing in harmony with the coil pulses. As the coil scales up the mesh increases activity until the entire device operates as a single intelligent electromagnetic organism. This is more than a generator. 
It is a self-organizing system designed to mimic the behavior of natural quantum fields. If such technology existed even as a prototype it would be the most advanced energy device ever conceived by human hands. The implications would be enormous. Nations would fight to control it. Corporations would attempt to replicate it. Scientists would rewrite textbooks to explain it. But the question remains unanswered. Is the quantum coil real or is it just another fascinating simulation? Our objective is not to claim the device exists but to visually explore the consequences if it did. If Maxwell Chikambutso has created such a coil it would represent the birth of a new era in physics. An era where energy is not extracted from materials but from the structure of space itself. Where machines are powered by the vacuum and magnetic fields become tools to sculpt reality. Where every home, car and aircraft become self-sustaining and every device becomes an island of infinite power. The quantum coil is not presented here as truth but as a question that challenges the limits of current scientific understanding. A visualization of what could be possible if we dared to step beyond the boundaries of known physics. A reminder that every breakthrough once began as an impossible idea. And a speculation of what humanity might become if energy itself was limitless. So the question remains. What if this is real? What if the quantum coil is not science fiction but the next step in our evolution as an energy civilization? What if bending magnetic fields like fabric is only the beginning and the true frontier is mastering the vacuum itself? And what if somewhere in a lab someone has already turned the first quantum coil on? Because if they have the world will never be the same again.